where I got all of these scarfs from and it certainly is not recently finished objects. I used to want to actually sell my knits on Etsy. That's actually where Brook Willow came from. The name of it was my Etsy shop. Um, so I made a bunch of like chunky type hats and a bunch of these scarves too to sell and then I ultimately decided like it's just not worth the amount of labor going in to be able to sell it at a price that people would actually want to buy it at um so I just didn't really end up selling much um and I boxed it all up and put it in storage at Mitch's parents house because I was doing this online shop when we lived in Idaho and then when we moved back to Minnesota we had a bunch of stuff at his parents and his mom just found the box and brought it over and I totally forgot about these to be honest um, but I was excited because I'm like oh these are gonna make great last-minute gifts so I'm actually going to gift this gray one to his mom because she actually really she told me she, I offered some to her she said she really liked this one but I still in true Anna fashion had all of the ends to weave in um, and then I'm gonna so I had to weave in those ends and then I'm gonna gift these two to his sisters his two sisters and um, my sister she needed a gift for her um, husband's grandma and asked if I had any extra scarfs laying around as well and I had this one too which is like a two-toned one um, these are all just infinity scarves I just kind of came up with the pattern myself this one is using like a moss or a seed stitch and it's just seamed at the sides so when you put it on it kind of just has this two-toned effect and then these ones here are again also infinity scarves but I used a herringbone stitch I'll show it to you a little closer So yes, these are just herringbone stitch infinity scarves and I just seamed the ends at each end. So yeah, those are gonna make some nice last minute gifts for those people. And then I also finished seaming up the bandana that I made for my sister. So I'll show you that as well. Cause I don't think I ever actually showed the finished object of it. So here it is, and actually I suppose I could try it on. So it's just like a cute little piece. Let me see if I can get the light. For my sister, I think she's really gonna like it. Um, so I have a lot of things to do today, and it's kind of nice that it's really cold out it's negative nine degrees fahrenheit so i don't know how much that is celsius um but it means i can't be tempted to go outside and go for a ski i am going to have a lot of things to wrap today because i haven't wrapped anything for christmas and it's december 23rd and we have a lot of celebrations tomorrow with gift opening, so I've got a lot to do today. So I'm kind of glad that it's cold and I can't go outside. <laughs> um, but before I can wrap up the gifts that I knitted, I actually need to take pictures of it because I haven't shown them on Instagram yet. That's why I've been a little bit more quiet on Instagram lately. Um, but I didn't want to spoil the presents for my sister's family. Um, so I'm gonna take pictures of everything and then I'm gonna wrap it all up. And my goal is to get everything wrapped up today. So we will see what happens. <laughs>
I'm going to end everything for Vlogmas this year. It's been a lot of fun uh, recording everything, but I will say it's a lot of work to record a vlog. It kind of takes over your whole day. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. I'm thinking about recording um, an Everything I Knit this year video, so let me know if that is something you want to see. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed these vlogs, feel free to give them a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But again, thank you for following along, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you next time. Bye.